Hello, Kitty. In the last video, we spoke about pulling our reader into our imagined world. A world that contains both the known and the unknown. They say that this is the role of the artist, to walk the line between order and chaos. It does feel that way, because when I write a story, or when I paint a story, I always start with something familiar, something I've already seen, something I already know. But then the only way forward is to start going to places I've never been, or to places I've been avoiding. I think this is why we appreciate art, and why we make art. I don't think we're producing art if we know exactly what we're doing. I mean, we have to have some sense of direction, but ultimately, we can't know where we'll end up until we get there. Because if we're making something and know exactly what we're doing and know exactly what message we're saying, then that's not really art. That's more like an advertisement or propaganda. When we start and end with the same set of ideas, we're not making art. We're just telling people to see things the way we do. We're telling them to agree with us. That's not what art is about, and people can see through that. Not all comic books I've read are works of art. The way I can tell if a comic book was created with an aim to persuade the readers to think in a particular way is if it doesn't make me walk away in contemplation. When a book is written this way, it's easy to forget. But we can still appreciate them for their drawing styles and rendering skills, and for setting a good example of what to avoid if our aim in our comic books is to create a door for the reader to explore their own minds after they've finished reading our story. Alright, that's all for now. Stay tuned for the next sketch blog.